Hi, my name is Susanna McFadden. I am a professor of art history and music at Fordham University. My specialty is uh, the late Roman world, although I teach Greek and Roman art classes at Fordham. In particular, I want to talk to you today about one set of images um, in Egypt. The Romans took over this ancient Egyptian site and they wanted to promote um, an ideology of imperial power to a local population there. So these are images of the four emperors, or the tetrarchs, who reigned during the very end of the Roman Empire, the, the late third, early fourth century uh, AD. And what's interesting about these emperors, first of all, is that there were four of them. I mean, that was not normal for the Roman world. And in their image program, uh, the idea of four was incorporated because um, they had to promote an idea of what we call concordia, or equality. And so the four emperors, when they were shown together, were shown as absolutely identical. So these, these images are over life size. They're maybe one and a half times the normal size of a person. Um, they all look alike. They're all wearing um, purple togas, which emphasizes their imperial majesty. Notice actually that there's one uh, that looks like he's been rubbed out. And this is actually something that happened in antiquity. It's what we call a damnatio memoriae, uh, which is when the tetrarchs who are ruling together, um, uh, or at least trying to give us the idea that they're ruling together, they're not actually getting along all that well. And, and one of them uh, gets murdered and they have to wipe away his memory. They, they are larger than life um, and they are uh, projecting this idea of imperial majesty which is very typical of the late empire. You know, whereas we look at images of the emperor from the early part of the empire, uh, the emperor looks human, he looks as if he's relatable, he looks kind. Um, the, the tetrarchs here, they're remote, they're over life size, they're divine. One of the things that we do in art history is, is we work from the presumption that images have a tremendous amount of power. Um, power to make us feel, power to inspire us, and power to communicate ideology and to communicate ideas. 